Hey everyone, today I'm going to give you a bit of a tips and tricks on using test strips at home. A lot of the times people um, don't understand how to properly use a test strip uh, and the test strips can come in all kinds of shapes and sizes. So number one uh, tip is to read the instructions on the individual bottle that you've purchased, okay? Because some of them you have to leave them in the wander logger, some of them you have to wick the excess water off, some of them not. So read the instructions on the bottle. Uh, if unclear, ask a representative at the store you've purchased it at. The uh, other thing too is when you are purchasing the test strips, make sure you take a look at the expiration date. It'll be somewhere on the bottle. These do expire and once expired, they may be steering you in the wrong direction. So make sure that when you're buying your test strips, you look at the expiration date. It's important to keep your test strips indoors in um, a climatized environment. So any direct sunlight, humidity or extreme colds or heats uh, aren't exposed to your test strips or your test strips aren't exposed to those conditions because that can compromise the uh, stability or the reagents on the test strips. When it is time to use your test strips, what we want to do is take out only one test strip and close the lid immediately. We've had it often enough where clients leave the lid open and as they're dipping their test strips, dump a few or all of their test strips in the water. So pro tip, take one, close the lid. So again, reading the instructions, if and most of them are a quick dip of the water, okay? Some of them say to wick the excess, most of them you won't have to wick. And I like to hold mine horizontal so the waters, each of the tests, they don't bleed, bleed onto each other if you hold them sideways. And the best way to read your test strip, I've uh, come used to, to make a T with the bottle. So you have little squares at the back and you put the strip horizontal. So you make an upside down T. Uh, and then this way, or if you wanted to hold it like that, this way the colors will coordinate with the test strip. So there's no mistaking on which side is what and what's going on. So you get a clear view of uh, what the readings are. It's important to note that Using test strips, it's a, an estimate of where your water lies. It's not perfect science. So the, the best thing I could recommend is make your best effort at understanding uh, where you are approximately. And the key is to send that water in the right direction uh, once a week when it comes to balancing alkalinity, pH, calcium, hardness. The sanitizer is a different story. You wanna make sure you always have some of that in the water, but for the rest, if you're, if you're balancing alkalinity, pH, and calcium hardness more than once a week, you may be doing a bit too much. Last tip for today is that a dipped test strip will not indefinitely show you the proper results. Test strips that, that have been dipped are normally good up to about 45 seconds unless it's, otherwise, it's described as otherwise on your instructions, but most of them, they're, they're only good for so long after you've dipped them. So usually I tell people, keep, try to get a, a reading between 15 and, and 45 seconds after dipping the test strip, which will give you the most accurate uh, results for your current water. Hope you've enjoyed these tips. Take care.